Word up, Toronto True Seekers. We got Danny Liberty on the street. We're uh, actually, we're not in the street, we're in a courtyard in front of a museum, which is now called the Mackenzie House Museum. It's a William Lyon Mackenzie uh, Museum. William Lyon Mackenzie represents the first mayor of Toronto back in the days when it was called Muddy York. You see the guy right here. This guy actually was a, uh, well, he was a media man because he was uh, in charge of one of the most popular newspapers in Canada at the time, Upper Canada at the time, called the Colonial Advocate. And the Colonial Advocate is, well, I guess if you're familiar with Toronto papers, I'd say the closest uh, paper that you can compare it to, to in today's terms would be like something like Toronto Street News because the Colonial Advocate was basically about recognizing who is in charge of the society and at that time in the 1800s it was it was definitely the churches that were in charge of the government and the military and the whole thing that was that it had just happened in the states a few generations before with their uh, rebellion well William Lyon Mackenzie tried to organize that here it was called the Upper Canada Rebellion you can find out all sorts of stuff for instance you find out a lot about who the names of the streets are in Toronto are named after, and most of them are named after the family compact themselves. The family compact, you see these names like Degrassi, you see names like Strawn, you see names... Uh, William Lyon Mackenzie, this is a uh, rendition of him after he's been mayor. This is where he's uh, speaking uh, to uh, the, I guess, the people in, the, in Toronto that were, would have been equivalent to city councillors now. This is another important one, is on this side, here. Because this represents the grievances, report of grievances to the Commons Houses of Assembly in 1835. Okay, you go back to 1835 and you can find a report on grievances of the Commons. This was the report that was uh, is, a, is, a, is a launching point, I guess, for the rebellion. And these two pictures here, and these, these are important, you can find a, a plaque actually a few blocks from here. This is Peter Matthews and Samuel Lamb, and they are very important in Canadian history because they were actually uh, executed for treason. They were actually the, they, they're two of the main victims of the rebellion. Uh, they, were, they were two guys that got caught. And the rebellion actually happened just up Young Street. It was a place called Montgomery's Tavern, so I guess they're, they're there was alcohol involved and the rebels didn't have, they were definitely out, outnumbered, outmatched, and a lot of them fled. And there was, for a few years, they spread out throughout Upper Canada and a lot of them went down to the States. And Mackenzie King uh, actually spent some time in the U.S. before being allowed back into Canada. Right. And uh, you called him Mackenzie King. That's one thing we got to clarify because William Lyon Mackenzie Oops. <laughs> is the grandfather of William Mackenzie King. William Mackenzie King is famous as a Canadian uh, Prime Minister during the Second World War. And he did the uh, conscription, uh, not necessarily conscription, but conscription if necessary. And, and well, it, it was a different time then, but I guess they're, they are similar in, in ways that they're both in a time of, of conflict. They were both in charge. The other legend is that there's ghost sightings of William Mackenzie in this house, um, that uh, Mackenzie King had advisors speaking to him that, are, that were like, I guess, mediums, that, were, that he was in communication with the spirit world and that one of the people that he communicated with was his grandfather. Uh, but that can make you get to thinking a lot, but well, that's that's what we're trying to do here at Toronto Truth Seekers. You see, now his house is a museum. Like this would be basically the backyard, I guess, of this house. William Mackenzie House is now a museum. You see some plaques along the wall and stuff. And this this is a is sort of a hidden away here on Bond Street in Toronto, downtown Toronto. You don't hear too much about him from from our current leadership, but you know it was it was really important, and it can all be related to today to what Toronto True Seekers are trying to do. We've got a main Toronto True Seeker is running for mayor now, Vijay Sharma, and, and that's that's going to be important because if we can get him in as mayor, combined with Toronto Street News, get Toronto Street News and a bigger uh, distribution and get, get more people reading it, then that'll be, you know, a, a modern day equivalent of the Colonial Advocate. and. Our biggest goal would be pre preventing, well, it'll be preventing the New World Order takeover and then also preventing them from throwing the printing presses into Lake Ontario, which is apparently what they did. Why the Colonial Advocate was shut down was that they went into, into William McKenzie's place of business, took the printing presses and actually threw them in Lake Ontario. That's Toronto Truth Seekers, we're looking at. We're up, we're up.
flyer offered by one of your fellow Canadians from TorontoStreetPatriots.com.